electronics enthusiasts. Welcome back to another episode of Cool Electronics Guy. Where the electronics are always cool and the guy, well, he's trying. I hope everyone's having a great day. Um, I'm actually recovering from having COVID. Uh, this is my third time having it now. I've uh, been fully vaccinated and I received the first booster, but uh, I still feel pretty sick the past few days. I'm starting to feel a little bit better today, so I thought it'd be a great time to crack open a beer and make another cool Electronic Sky video. So, uh, I haven't had a beer this entire week, so I'm pretty excited to get right into our beer of the day. Today's beer of the day is one of my favorite breweries ever, which I might have mentioned in a past video. It's Firestone Walker Brewery out in California. Uh, this one is called... Gold Rider number one. It's a, a blended ale aged in cognac barrels and orange bitter bitters barrels with uh, that's a tough one to say bitters barrels <laughs> with uh, fresh lemon juice. Uh, the alcohol by volume it's pretty hefty at uh, 11 percent. Uh, Firestone says this particular beer should be stored at 45 degrees and then when serving it, it should be served at 55 degrees so you want this one to sit out for a few minutes before you crack it open. Um, at the first sip, I can taste—I uh, can taste the orange. Wow, uh, the orange flavor is really, uh, really nice. Um, it's blended nice with, uh, eh, I'd say, about a mid-level cognac layer of goodness in there. Uh, the finish is uh, boy, it really cleanses the palate with some smooth tones of lemon. Hmm, very nice beer. I'm really enjoying this. Very well balanced. Nothing is just too strong. The orange isn't too strong. It doesn't overpower the can cognac and the lemon finish isn't overpowering anything. Very nice, well blended. Uh, steps of flavor through that. Beer Advocate uh, gives this ra uh, rating of 91, which is pretty high. Um, cool Electronics Guy gives it a perfect 10, since it's my favorite brewing company and it's pretty delicious beer. Um, Please check out this great beer if you get a chance. And don't forget Firestone's motto, Beer Before Glory. So now that we've had, uh, we've got our beer in hand, let's get right into the main topic of today's video. <clears throat> Excuse me if I keep clearing my throat, I'm still stuffed up from COVID. So, uh, but I'm getting bored just like sitting around and resting. So, you know, I think making a video is make me feel better so just bear with my horrible voice <clears throat> so um, um about a month ago no maybe maybe july end of july i decided it was time to upgrade my phone uh for years i've always been a die hard brand loyal samsung phone user uh <clears throat> excuse me my last phone that i recently retired was the uh, samsung galaxy s9 and I can't say enough good things about that phone. Uh, it's been a, a loyal companion for many, many years, and uh, it never let me down. Um, even uh, uh, recently, uh, when I was researching new phones, I, I really didn't want to part with my phone. So, uh, but you know, I needed to face reality. I, I knew that my S9 was not going to last forever. Um, but. Uh, of course, I started my search for the new phone, with, uh, and I had Samsung in mind. Uh, I immediately started looking at the S22. Uh, I watched countless YouTube videos. I read several articles, and uh, I really like to do my research if I'm going to spend. You know, a flagship phone isn't cheap, so I don't want to waste my money. But uh, I, I was hooked on the S22. You know, I decided the S22 was going to be my new phone. Um, but then something happened. There was a, a phone that always came up in my searches when I was researching the S22. Um, it was a phone with very mixed reviews. Uh, some were five star and others were only one star. Uh, this got me really curious. So, I, of course, I had to investigate uh, this device a little bit further. Um, and after reading so many negative reviews, I was still confused because I was finding an equal number of excellent reviews. So, like, what do I do? I decided to take a huge risk. I decided not to buy an S22. And uh, I wanted to try this new phone instead. And, I mean, it had mixed reviews. You know, it's a lot of money. 
it was such a hard decision uh, to leave my brand loyal comfort zone, but uh, I couldn't resist. I just wanted to try something new. So that being said, the phone I decided to buy to replace my S9 is this phone right here. Let me move this stuff out of the way. That there is the Google Pixel 6 Pro. Uh, I'm so glad I made this choice. Um, I made the purchase, like I, said, I think it was around the end of July, you know, and I knew that um, a huge update to fix many of the phone bugs, this particular phone bugs, was released in, I believe, like June. Um, I can't say how the Google Pixel 6 performed before the June update, but uh, now that I've had it for you know quite some time now, since the end of July, uh, I can truly say this is the best phone I've ever had. It performs flawlessly. It's amazing. Uh, one of the, the big issues I kept seeing over and over again in the reviews was how horrible the on-screen uh, fingerprint reader was. Uh, I think the June update must have addressed that because right out of the box, the fingerprint reader on my, my, my Pixel 6 worked perfect. Now, every time, even even till today, let me, let me show you. And I don't know if you can see that too good in the camera. There's the fingerprint reader on there. And I'm going to put my finger on it. Do you see how fast? I mean, boom, there's, there's the home screen. That was like instantaneous. And a lot of the reviews were saying that it didn't work, or it took several times to work, or it was so slow. But, you know, maybe that was the case before the update, but... It's, it's working great now. You can see that's how it always performs. Um, I'm not going to go over every single thing uh, that this flagship phone can do. Um, you can definitely, you know, find a, a better, more detailed video on YouTube for that. I mean, there's tons of them. I've watched them all. A lot of good ones out there. Um, but my main purpose for this video uh, is to show off the phone. And I want to give it the support that it deserves. Like I said, there are so many negative reviews. Um, and it's really maybe wasn't that great before the updates. And, and again, it's fantastic now. I really highly recommend this phone. Uh, one thing I really like to talk about, though, is the camera. Um, there's a, Here's a few uh, close-up pics I took uh, of my cat. Butters. His name is Butters. Um, his name is really when I got him from the Humane Society. His name was Buddy. But, uh, no, I just started calling him Butters for short. And uh, it's stuck. He, that's, he, you know, he responds to it, so that's good. <laughs> so that's my cat, Butters. Um, and you can see in the picture, I think it's a pretty good picture. I'm really impressed with the quality of the colors and the, the, the sharpness of the focus. Uh, I think these pics really show that. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm zoomed right in, and I still got great clarity and great colors. Uh, I think it came out pretty good. And I'm only an amateur photographer, you know. Maybe if you, you know, someone using this knew what they were doing. <laughs> so, uh, the next pick, it's uh, just a random photo. It's a, of a squirrel that uh, I took through a window at my house. I was about 50 feet away in this picture. Uh, and again, at this distance and through a window... Uh, I'm so impressed by the sharp focus in in, in, in the squirrel, in, in the intensity of color. It, it, I think it's performing very well. Um, the the next pick here was taken close to sunset. Uh, it's down at uh, down at the marina uh, in the town that I live in. Um, I think the Pixel Six Pro does a very good job in uh, a lower lighting situation. The colors just look so vibrant. Uh, everything's popping nice in this picture. Uh, it's a, a pavilion down at the at our marina. Um, again, you know, low lower lighting situation in, in an amateur me using the camera. Uh, I think the picture came out pretty good. Um, the next two pics here, uh, I really wanted to see if I could push the camera's limits with some night photography. So I took these again in the village where I live. Um, I was just taking a walk down the street. Uh, with the street lights as the only light source. Um, and, and I'm still pretty impressed with, with the color and, and the quality of these pics uh, in, in the current lighting situation that was, you know, available. It was, it was dark out, you know. There, I'm sure there's some, you can see the moon, 
there's some light from the moon, but mostly the street lamps. Um, and again, I was really, really um, impressed uh, with the camera. I mean, I'm definitely not a professional photographer. I'm sure many of our viewers have a much better background in photography that could take even better pics with this camera than I could. But uh, you see what an amateur like myself could do. Uh, it only gets better from there. <laughs> so I, uh, I really love the camera. Um, it's definitely a huge selling point for me. Um, I also like for this video I'm shooting now, I'm using a, a Nikon Z50. You know, I shoot video on that, take pictures with it, and, and that's a that's a great camera too. It takes fantastic pictures. And uh, to compare that, uh, you know, more professional grade camera with a cell phone camera, the Google Pixel 6 camera, I mean, it, it really, uh, really takes fantastic pictures even compared to my Nikon Z50. The Z50, of course, takes, you know, higher quality picture, but uh, still, it's, it's, a, it's pretty close. Um, but without going into too much detail, I just want to mention a few other highlights that I really enjoyed about this phone. Uh, the uh, 5,000 milliamp hour battery is just awesome. It, it lasts me all day, and like, I still have 70% about battery left around bedtime. And, uh, you know, I use it at work all day long. Um, yeah, so the, the battery's great. And that was another thing people were complaining about in a lot of the reviews I read, that the battery just wasn't as good as the other flagship phones. And, and it may not be as good as the S22. I, I can't say because I don't have that. I didn't get the S22. But i got to say, it, it blows the battery away, away on the uh, on the uh, S9 I had. And uh, i got to say, you know... For what I use the phone for and the amount I use it, they have 70% left at the end of the day. It's pretty damn good. Um, a lot of people complain about the size of it. I like the size. Of course, I've got a bigger hand. Um, I, I'm, I'm 5 foot 11 inches tall, so I'm, you know, I'm tall, but, uh, you know, it's taller people. But there's shorter people who have smaller hands. Maybe if you have a smaller hand, that might be too big in your hand. But uh, I really like, I think the size is perfect for me. The S9 was a little small for me, I think. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I like the size of this, the size of the screen. Uh, I've got uh, an up upgraded to Android 13, which I got to say, I love. It runs so smooth. It's got some really cool features. Um, the uh, the Tensor chip that Google made, my God, it makes everything like run so fast. Everything on this phone, I could have multiple windows open and it's still running at the speed of light. Everything's instantaneous. This Tensor chip is amazing, and I think they um, are upgrading that chip for the uh, the Pixel um, 7 that's coming out in October. Um, I would like to... Uh, I'm not going to get that phone, obviously. I just got this one, but I, I like to read the reviews on that. Uh, again, the fingerprint reader was fantastic, and, and in the older reviews it said it was horrible, but uh, that's been fixed, for sure. Um, the display looks great. Um... The refresh rate uh, goes uh, from 60 up to 120 hertz. I like, uh, you know, I watch. I like watching a lot of YouTube. Uh, and you know, before you go to bed, lay in, you lay in your bed, you put your phone on. I like watching the Y Files. That is an awesome channel. Definitely check it out. They're not paying me to say that. It's just an awesome channel. Really, really cool channel. But um, anyways, I like watching watching that on my phone. It just looks fantastic on the screen. The, um, let's see, another feature, the, um, I like the adaptive color feature, too. That's, that's, that's pretty cool. But again, you guys can, uh, you can check all that out in some YouTube video that really goes into detail about the phone. Again, I just wanted to really promote the phone and, and say a lot of those negative reviews really, maybe they were correct, but they're not correct anymore since the updates. Uh, the phone is really, it's so different from the, uh, Samsung S series phones. Um, I mean, both are great, uh, but there's just something special about the, the 6 Pro. Everything just seems so crisp and, and smooth uh, from the look um, to the way it reacts to my commands when I operate the phone. Um, and I really like that strip on the back that you can, uh, you guys probably all seen it, um, where, the, where the camera is on there. Uh, I, I think that looks nice. And I know the 7 looks similar to that. I saw pictures of that coming out. Um, so it's a unique look, it's a unique phone. It performs fantastic. Uh, I highly, highly recommend this phone. Um, and, and if you read those negative reviews, I mean, 
since these new updates came out, those reviews you can really throw in the garbage because uh, there's nothing wrong with that phone. Top notch flagship phone. Uh, cool electronics guy gives the Google Pixel 6 Pro a 10 out of 10 review. Again, I highly recommend this phone. I can't say enough good things about it. I may not switch back to a Samsung ever again. I gotta see in a few years when I buy another phone what, what, what Google has to offer in their Pixel line. Because uh, maybe it'll be the 8 or the 9 by the time I buy another one. And uh, I can't imagine how much better those are going to even be. So, that being said, I, uh, I really hope this video helps you if you were unsure about the Pixel 6 Pro like I was. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, if you have this phone, please leave your comments below. Or, or feel free to ask me anything about this phone that I didn't include in the video. But if you if you do have this phone, I'm really curious to hear about your experience with it. Um, before updates, after the current updates, anything. I just want to you know hear what everyone has to say. Um, if you enjoy our content, make sure you click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss out on uh, any future cool electronic guy videos. So I know it's a short video, but again. I got COVID, so, and I'm kind of, you know, just wanted something to do, and I, and I wanted to reach out to you guys, because I haven't done a video in a little while, so, uh, um, thanks so much for watching, um, don't, uh, don't forget to make some cool electronics, and enjoy a few good beers, we'll see you next time, have a good one, and stay safe.